Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and welcome to the Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Clair, Virgin. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Hishbon, which faces Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, and as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Abraham and Manasseh all the land of Judah, as far as the western sea, the Negev, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands at Jericho, city of Palms, and as far as Zohar. The Lord then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that I would give to their descendants, I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said, and he was buried in the rabbi, opposite Bethphur in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For 30 days the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab till they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. Now Joshua, son of Nun, was filled with the spirit of wisdom since Moses had laid his hands upon him. And so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders, the Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land. And for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Come and see the works of God. His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, your peoples. Loudly sound his praise. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Please stand. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, Take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to, lis to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Amen, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ano po ang karaniwang reaksyon ninyo kapag kami tao nagkasala sa inyo? Nasaktan kayo o sinadyang saktan kayo? Maaring ito ang inyong kapamilya, maaring ito ang inyong kapitbahay, kaopisina, inyong karelasyon o isang kaibigan na nakasakit sa inyo. May mga taong kapag ka nasaktan, ang ginagawa po'y nananahimik na lamang. Sapagkat maaaring iniisip niya na, Nako, nasaktan ako, pero titiisin ko na lamang, baka lalo pa kami magkagalit, baka lumaki pa. Pero kapag ka ganito ang ating ginawa, na lagi na lang at mga tayong nananahimik, pinapalagpas natin ang oportunidad na ituwid natin kung ano yung bali sabihin natin doon sa taong nagkamali sa atin kung anong kanyang pagkakasala. May mga tao naman na very confrontational kapag ka sinaktan mo, nako, haharapin ka kaagad. Wala siyang pakialam kung saang lugar, kung anong oras, kung anong pangyayari. Mapapahiya ka talaga. Yung very aggressive na tao na nagre-react kaagad ay kulang naman sa sensitivity and charity. Wala rin siyang pakialam mo sa kung anong mararamdaman mo, basta ako ay sinaktan mo. Sa ating Ibanghelyo, nagbibigay ang ating Panginoong Isokristo ng mga pamamaraan kung paano ang ating gagawin kapag ka tayo nagkasala sa isa't isa, kapag ka nasaktan natin ang damdamin ng isa't isa. Ang unang sabi ng ating Panginoon, kung may taong nakasakit sa iyo, eh puntahan mo personally, harapin mo, mag-usap kayo in private. 
Kasi kung minsan, ginagawa natin kapag may nakasakit tayo, ang una natin pagsasabihan yung ibang tao. Pero yung taong nakasakit sa atin, hindi natin sinasabi sa kanya. Na isabi na natin sa lahat ng ating mga kaibigan, kaopisay na kapitbahay, pero yung taong nasaktan mo mismo, siya na lamang ang hindi nakakaalam, na ichismis mo ng pangyayari sa napakarami. Sabi ng ating Panginoon, ang una ay kausapin mo yung taong nakasakit sa iyo in private. Siguro para sa ganoon ay magkaliwanagan kayo sapagkat maaaring di naman niya sinasadya, maaaring kung nagkamali siya, eh, maaaring siya isang taong mapagpakumbaba, pwede naman siyang humingi ng sorry. Pangalawa, kung hindi nakinig ang sabi sa Ebanghelyo, ay tumawag ka pa ng witnesses, mga saksi, hindi upang i-down o ibaksak yung taong nagkamili sa iyo. Kung hindi, upang sa gatoon, sa inyong pag-uusap, ay magkaroon ng bagong atmosphere. Kapag kakasi ko minsan, nagalit ka na rin, dalawa lang kayo nag-uusap. Minsan, para tayo nabubulagan. Pero kapag ka mayroong taong in authority, taong pinagkakatiwalaan mo na sumali sa usapan, nababago ang atmosphere ng usapan. Meron tayong mga puntos na maaring hindi nakikita, pero dahil may tatlong present na witnesses, maaring makita natin. So mga witnesses ay hindi upang kampihan ka, kung hindi upang sa ganoon ay lumabas kung ano ang katotohanan. Pangatlong, sabi sa Ebanghelyo ay pumunta ka sa simbahan, tawagin mong simbahan. Sa bandang huli ng ating Ebanghelyo, sinasabi ang tungkol sa panalangin. Marahil kaya binabanggit ang simbahan, ay upang sa ganoon, kapag ka meron tayong kagalit sa buhay, pinapaalaala sa atin ang kahalagahan ng pagdarasal. Kung may kaaway po ba kayo, nasubukan niyong ipagdasal siya o nauna sa atin yung galit. Iba rin po kapag ka inuna natin ang panalangin, nakasakit sa ating damdamin, ang unang siguro nating pagsumbungan ay ang Panginoong Diyos. Imbis na yung ibang tao, sa Diyos natin ibuhos yung sama ng ating loob. Sa Diyos natin ibuhos ang ating nararamdaman. Talang po ninyo napaka-powerful ng panalangin. Ang grasya ang magbabago dun sa puso ng taong maging, maaaring naging kagalit ninyo. Hindi naman talaga tayo ang nagbabago ng puso ng tao conversion ay walang iba kung hindi ang grasya ng Panginoong Diyos. Kaya marahil ang magandang gawin una sa lahat ay isumbong muna natin sa Panginoong Diyos. Ang Diyos ang ating kausapin kapag may taong nagkasala sa atin o sinaktan tayo. Sa bandang huli ang nais ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, ikaw man ang nagkasala o yung iba, ang mahalagay mag-usap upang sa ganoon ay magkabati. Si isang writer, si C.S. Lewis, sa kanyang libro na The Great Divorce ay tinanong siya at sinabi niya kung ano para sa kanya ang ibig sabihin ng impyerno. Sabi niya ang impyerno ay isang napakalaking lugar pero napakadilim at ang katangian ng impyerno sabi niya ay sa lugar na yon, yung mga tao ay walang kontak sa isa't isa. Walang kontak sa isa't isa. Hindi sila nag-uusap. Sabi niya, nagsimula lamang doon sa impyerno ang isang simpleng away. Pagkatapos ay mga nag-aaway, lumayo sa isa't isa. Lumayo ng lumayo. Hanggang sila ay very lonely sapagkat nag-iisa na lamang sila doon sa kadiliman. Ayun ang impyerno sa ating Ibanghelyo na is ng ating Panginoong Isokristo na dalhin tayo doon sa opposite, na dalhin tayo doon sa langit. Kung saan? Kung ang mga relasyon ay nasira, kung saan tayo nagkasamaan ng loob, kung saan marami tayong kasalanan sa isa't isa, huwag tayong gigib up 
na magpatawad sa isa't isa. Huwag tayong gigive up na patuloy na kausapin kung sino man yung tao na kung kanino nasira ang ating relasyon. Langit yon sapagkat tuwing tayo gagawa ng paraan upang magkaroon ng kontak sa isa't isa, nasa direksyon tayo ng communion at ang langit ay communion. Dito sa misa ay merong communion, merong pagsasalo-salo. Tuwing sisikapin natin na tayo magsalo-salo, na tayo mag-usap, na ayusin natin ang ating mga nasirang relasyon, na tayo matutong magpatawad at humingi ng patawad, tayo po'y nasa daan patungo sa langit, patungo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Padalangin po natin lahat ng mga taong nasira ang mga relasyon sa iba't ibang mga dahilan. Padalangin po natin lahat ng mga taong may sama ng loob sa kalang kapwa at nahihirapang magpatawad. Panalangin po natin na nawa ang grasya ng pagpapatawad at ang grasya ng pagbubukas ng puso ay ating makamtan. Pang sa ganoon, patuloy tayong makapaglakbay ng sama-sama sa kaharian ng ating Panginoon. Please all stand. Jesus tells us today, if two of you agree to ask something, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. So we pray together and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of the church may be drawn close together, living in peace and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations may respect the rights of every person and avoid repression and atrocities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have the courage to speak the truth with love and accept criticisms graciously. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the aged, and the housebound may see God's comfort and consolation in the compassion of those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be cleansed and prepared for eternal unity with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, with your Son in our midst, we ask you to help us believe in the goodness of each person and be patient with one another as you have been good to us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, your full creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Amen. 
as we proclaim you wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as our merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its ori original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the chupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the bond and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant Bishop, in all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words of Lord Jesus Christ taught us.
Pagkasyad mo kami ngayon ng aming kakain sa araw-araw at pagkawarin mo kami Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracely grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of St. Clair, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa Minor Basilica and Parish of Our Lady of the Rosary at Manawag at sa inyong pong pakikisa sa ating banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles. Our helps in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us the strength and support in our frailty. <clears throat> Turn with kindness toward the sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, O Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you.